Today we're going to make a classic Irish cocktail. Irish coffee. For this trick, you're going to need an Irish coffee mug, a measuring cup, a bar spoon, a coffee maker, a whisk, and a bowl. Or in this case, a large measuring cup. This drink uses whiskey, coffee, heavy cream, and optionally, a sugar cube. In the books, James Bond was a big whiskey drinker. He drank whiskey almost as much as he drank coffee. Bourbon and scotch were by far his favorite whiskeys, but when the mood seized him, he also drank Canadian rye whiskey, Tennessee whiskey, and Irish whiskey. The most common Irish whiskeys, the blended Irish whiskeys, are pot still whiskeys that are cut with neutral grain alcohol, essentially vodka. So for Irish whiskey, I always like using a single pot still whiskey, or what used to be called a pure pot still whiskey. They're much more flavorful and robust. Green Spot and Red Breast are two great examples of single pot still whiskeys. For this drink, I like using Green Spot, but feel free to use your favorite Irish whiskey. I tend to not like a lot of sweeteners in my drinks. This one's often made with sugar, although Bond never mentioned sugar in his drink. However, it works well in this one. Sugar will dissolve quickly in hot water, or in this case, coffee. When it comes to cold drinks like the old-fashioned, I tend to steer toward using simple syrup over sugar cubes. That's because sugar has a hard time dissolving in alcohol, particularly when it's cold. But for hot drinks, the sugar dissolves almost instantly. As for the cream, you want to float it on top so you have to sip the hot drink through the cold cream. When you're making the drink, if the cream completely sinks to the bottom, well, there's always next time. Assuming you don't live on a dairy farm, the float will work best a day or two after you buy the cream from the store. And you might want to throw it in the freezer for 10 minutes or so before whipping it up. Not enough to freeze it, but just enough to get it nice and cold. This classic recipe of Irish coffee originated from the Shannon Airport in Ireland in the 1940s, which was a major hub for connecting North America to Europe. Ten years later in the book Diamonds Are Forever, Bond had an Irish coffee in the same airport. Fleming must have had one there, because the drink certainly left an impression. Like the Americano in From a View to a Kill, the Pink Gin in The Man with the Golden Gun, and of course the Vesper in Casino Royale. The ingredients are explicitly laid out for this drink in the book. After a steak and champagne dinner, Bond thoroughly enjoyed the marriage of his two favorite things, whiskey and coffee. We're going to build this one in the glass, or in this case the mug, and we'll start by warming up the mug. Add hot water and set it aside. Next we'll brew some coffee. If you're using a French press, add your grounds, pour in your hot water, and let it steep. Then dump the hot water from your mug and drop in a sugar cube. When your coffee's done, pour in about four ounces of coffee. We're just gonna eyeball this one. Give it a quick stir to break down your sugar cube. This will happen very quickly. Next we're gonna measure two ounces of Irish whiskey, pour it in your mug, and give it another quick stir. Whip up your cream with a whisk and slowly pour it over the back of your bar spoon to preserve the layers. If your pour is like this one and not quite perfect, don't worry, it'll equalize in a second or two. And that's all there is to it. Irish coffee. Just the way Bond likes it. Slancha. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.